I want to show you guys a cool little FET lab. It's called FET Radio. So okay. if you type that in and click on it. So click Run Now. And so here's what you'll see. You have your radio station here, KFET FM 98.7 and it has a big broadcasting transmitter antenna and over here this could be your house with a little antenna there for receiving the signal and um, if you take this electron and send current through the antenna the electrons are going to move so as you can just see they just made a transverse radio wave and when that signal finally gets to the electron of the antenna on the house you'll notice that the electron moves also so I'm going to take this electron I'm going to move it one time up and you can see it created an electromagnetic wave and this one should go one time up and um, this is basically how radio signals get transmitted. We can see these radio towers around here. If you look at the mountains, especially looking more toward the west along the top of the ridge, you'll see some broadcasting towers. So they have um, antennas that are having electrons that are wiggling up and down in accordance with the signal that they want to transmit. And that makes the electrons in your radio wiggle up and down like that. And that is electric current. So your radio can take that electric current, you can amplify it, using transistors to make enough current to be able to drive your, your speakers. Um, so students often get confused between radio waves and sound waves because your radio makes sound but the signal coming from the station is an electromagnetic wave, a radio wave. And as you can see it's transverse but then that radio in your house takes that transverse radio signal and converts it into a longitudinal sound wave which then you can hear with your ears. We should be aware though that the signal coming from the radio tower does follow the inverse square law because that signal gets sent out radially. So what I mean by that is uh, make a little setting here and change it to full field here um, and radiated field. When this moves up and down we can see this field goes out in all directions. So this whenever you have fields going out radially or in a circle like we do gravity fields the strength of the signal will depend on the distance squared so as the distance between these two towers is doubled the strength of the signal coming in will be one quarter if the distance is tripled it will be one ninth alright so if you want to you can play around with that a little bit but just wanted to reinforce that radio waves are electromagnetic transverse and sound waves reminder is our longitudinal waves